Architectural Builder Supply is pleased to present you with this recording of the technical question that is listed in the title of this video. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. This would be, you know, uh, uh, exterior doors, heavy, heavy doors. Um, How heavy? Probably 400 pounds. So you won't be using anything made by LCM? No? Okay. No. And I don't want a floor closer. Can't do a floor closer because uh, of the weather. You know, we, we've had them freeze and everything else. Well, I mean, <clears throat> I imagine you're somewhere in the Midwest. Yep. I mean, the City Hall of Chicago has got all Ricks and Floor Closers, and they've been there for decades. The, the issue is the surface closers are going to top out at about 250 pounds. Overhead concealed, you're not going to be able to stretch that into the range that you have. Okay. So, so I don't have an answer if it's not a floor closer for that type of weight that the factory will endorse and say, yes, you're good to go. Install that closer on that door weight. Okay. How about handicap compliance? Um, that, well, you mean as far as hold open or, or that? Do these doors need to be compliant with handicap code? Um, it, what do you mean, as far as electronic opening? No. No, for reduced oh. uh, reduced opening force. Um, no, they're for retail. I haven't ran into that. So they definitely have to comply with federal law regarding handicap compliance. Um, technically, they do. Um, whether or not okay. the local inspector is going to require it would only be an oversight on that person's part. Um, that's the other problem with a reduced closing force, uh, opening force comes a reduced closing force. You get into a situation where you've got a real one-two punch. You've got handicap compliance, you've got excessively heavy, then you have exterior and your stack and wind pressures are what's going to wreak havoc on all okay. of that. Um, so unless there's a floor closer in the conversation, I don't have an answer. Now, if wow. you've got 250 pounds, that's that's a different conversation. So, is it possible that your calculation is off? I, I mean, it could be. I, you know what? I I got two sets to build of the same door, and I'm gonna weigh weigh them this time. But yeah. I mean, I I was just I I threw up a a large number because I you know I want to be covered. You know, I I don't know. Yeah. I'm gonna have to weigh these to tell you the truth. But they're big. They're 42 by 120. What are they made of? Uh, we're doing a stave core, but they the glass panel in them is uh, about 32 by 80 yeah. insulated yeah. glass. Yeah, they're going to be heavy. Yeah. Um, so they do floor closures with cold weather fluid. You know, it'll remain viscous. Um, I'm sorry, the conversation would need to go in that sort of direction to be able to get the factory to endorse, you know, your application with something that they would warrant. Um, you know, if you put a if you put a LCN 4040 XP on there and it didn't work, and the factory will say, no, it, it's it's not supposed to work. <laughs> right. So, so you're th L that, as far as LCN, you're thinking that's the strongest that's out there, 4040 XP. No. Uh, well. Not necessarily. You mentioned LCN. Um, yeah. You know, I mean, what yeah. what else would you recommend? The, I there mean, is no surface closer for your door yeah. weight. Okay. Now, what I've seen people do is they've installed two of them on a door. Um, really? Which is kind of, yeah, I've seen it installed. There's actually a coupler, be, coupler between the spindles where you can stack the bodies on top of each other. And then I've also okay. seen someone install it regular arm and then a parallel arm on the same door. All of that, of course, would would thoroughly violate uh, handicap compliant requirements. Yeah. But it's just interesting where I've seen people skin the cat that way. Yeah. Um, so these are, these doors are being replaced. Uh, these are, are you know the doors have been there for a number of years. And it's retail, and uh, somebody literally we went out to 
uh, you know, field uh, survey them, and somebody had literally cut the bricks and floor closers right out. They must have, you know, had issues, frozen, whatever, at two of these jobs. That's what I, you know, and, you know, we've done, we've used Rixon before and just, you know, we've had issues with them, you know, in, in the Midwest. I I'm will say Chicago that. I'm from Chicago and I've oh, yeah. had a lot of Rixon okay. floor closers in Chicago. Uh, I, I, although having said that, people in Canada, they you'll never find a Rixon floor closer in Canada. Yeah. Or, huh. or very, very unlikely. Huh. Well, yeah, especially some of the places where it's 40 below. I don't care what kind of fluid you got. There. Right, right, right. And that's um, what the Canadians, I've heard the Canadians say. Right, I can imagine. You probably can't even get them doors open sometimes. No. So if if we're going, I mean, and, and I'm not holding you to this, of, would you, is LCN, you, you know, the best bet for, I'm, I'm going to a, some sort of a closer, uh, you know, a, a surface-mounted closer. What would you recommend? Nothing. Okay. I, I would okay. say that LCN is, is my personal favorite when it comes to their product line. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, I've spent three decades in this, and I bet you have as well. I just yep. happen to know about the thing you called and asked about. And I've had this conversation dozens of times over my career, and I've taken the call, hey, my door won't close and latch. And then we get into it, and we realize, sure, you've got a 380-pound door with a with a surface closer or an overhead concealed. So, you know. Okay. You know, if your door was 250 pounds, 280 pounds, the factory would say, yeah, you know, it's worth a try. It may not close. <laughs> right. Uh, um. Shit! I wish I would have laid them. Uh, I I can probably fit. what we we're, do we are using you know it's it's a wood door. We're using jelly tongue. I don't know if you're familiar with that as the inside stave. So that's the the heaviest thing on this thing is the glass. Yeah, the, the structural lumber is really not that heavy. Right. Um, you know these. They could be, you know, I, I just shot out 400 figuring, you know, go heavy. Um, but of these 40 series, is the, is like that 40-40 or 40-50, is that going to the weight? Because uh, I've got a little chart here. It doesn't say anything about weight. Yeah, it's not often something a uh, weight range is published when it comes to door closers. Um, I see. You have been uh, doing this a long time. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I mean the forty forty would be my, you know that's my that's my go to. Um, okay. Over other people, um, you know, Sergeant makes a good door closer. It's just LCN is my. It's the line that I'm most familiar with. So I'm, you know, okay. I'm, I'm 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 subjective when it. Well, I'm 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 both objective, but I'm more subjective because I'm familiar with it. And plus, the guys in Texas support there are just phenomenal. They're just great okay. experts. Um, and, and what's with the XP versus the XPT? So when you add the T to the part number, it's giving you a track involved rather than a shoe or a parallel arm bracket. You will, unless you're installed, these doors swing out, I imagine? Yes, correct. Yeah, you would, you would definitely not be using a track closer. Um, okay. because the track is going to mount to the header and the geometry of how the spindle rotates through the zero to 90 degree cycle, that spindle doesn't move nearly that much. So it hyper um, uh, restricts uh, or compromises the door closer's ability to actually pull the door closed or to control it at all. Okay. Um, so a track closer, if it was on the pull side, um, you know that might be a different uh, animal, but on the push side, if that that would that that work against what you're trying to accomplish. Okay, um, let me send this to you. And you know what? I, I appreciate all the information you're giving me. And yeah, you I can just by talking to you, you are smarter than the next thousand people standing next to you regarding door hardware. I can tell you that. And I I too have been in this for a long time as you have. Um, 
So, and I don't want to go back out there and replace these. So oh. let's. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna put together. I'm gonna get this weight of everything and, and get a solid number for you. Like I said, I threw that out there to to be on the high side. Um. So let me send this to you. Uh, sales at absupply.net, and I'm going to put attention, Richard, if you don't mind. Not at all, sir. It'll come straight to me. Okay. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for your help. I'm glad you called. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Architectural Builders Supply hopes you have enjoyed this program. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.